scared, nervous, and just like wanted to go back home. 22 students sent to the hospital after two school buses collide today in Torrington. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. There were three other cars involved in that crash. In total, 28 people were taken to the hospital to be checked out. One person even had to be life starred. Yeah, no doubt a frantic afternoon for parents of the kids riding those buses. News Ace Bob Wilson gives us a look. There were a lot of tense moments for parents as the phone calls started going out. Your child has been in an accident and then the details became available. There were two buses involved in a collision, three other cars, LifeStar was called in, and as those details became available, parents became more frantic. Heard a couple booms and looked out the window and saw, very scared, obviously, with buses involved. Nick ran out of his store to find two school buses and three other vehicles piled up underneath the Route 8 overpass in Torrington. On one of the buses, James Mackle, he suffered a mild concussion. I felt scared, nervous, and just, like, wanted to go back home. James is a nine-year-old, and he was on his way home when he says his bus collided with another school bus, a truck, a Jeep, and a Volvo. Kids started screaming and yelling as the bus pitched and rocked, windows blowing out around them. My friend in the back, he got glass all over him, and he had to, like, shake it off. In all, 28 people had to be taken to the hospital, 22 elementary-age students who suffered bumps and bruises to six others, the most serious flown by LifeStar to Hartford Hospital. Frantic family members started showing up at Charlotte Hungerford Hospital looking for their children. I just wanted to get there and make sure that he was okay. It was nerve wracking. I'm the only one here who's watching him. Right now, the accident reconstruction team is trying to figure out exactly what happened. But we talked to investigators and they say when you take a look at the impact of the vehicles, the green truck smashing in the front, the gray Jeep up on the guardrail, the amount of impact, the amount of damage, they say speed is most likely a factor. That's an indication of, of some high speed involved right there. The front end of that's just crushed in. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and, and vehicle two there, the Jeep has got some very extensive damage, obviously, as you can tell. Now, we did talk to witnesses who have businesses on that corner. They say there are a lot of accidents, and even police admit they do investigate their fair share of accidents, especially at that bottom of the hill underneath the overpass. We're in Hartford. Bob Wilson, News 8. All right, here's a breakdown of all of the 28 injuries related to that accident. The 22 kids taken to the hospital were from two buses. The male driver of the truck also taken to the hospital, as well as four people in the Volvo involved. And the one person taken away by LifeStar was the woman who was driving the Jeep.